Number 52, show that the Reynolds number n sub r is unit less by substituting units for all quantities and its definition and canceling. So down here is the Reynolds number. All right, so let's bring that front and center. So we have the Reynolds number will be equal to two multiplied by the density, multiplied by the velocity of the fluid, multiplied by the radius, all divided then by the viscosity. So uh, we have to know the units for each, right? So the units for density are going to be kilogram per cubic meter. Right? Velocity is going to be meters per second. Radius is in meters. And the uh, viscosity here is going to be, you, there's a few ways you can frame it. Um, I'm going to do this Newton per square meter. Uh, and then this is basically times seconds, okay? So in other words, it's going to be Newton times second per square meter. All right. So now let's see if, uh, let's plug these in. All right, so we, here we have the Reynolds number. So uh, I'm just gonna leave out the two because obviously two doesn't have any units. So that's, I'm just gonna cancel that. Plug in the units for the density. So here we have kilogram per cubic meter. And this is then gonna be multiplied by now meter per second, then multiplied by meter. Okay, all then divided by now, uh, Newton seconds per square meter. Now, one other thing I might do here before I actually plug this in is let me break down what a Newton is. So a Newton, remember, is a force, and force is equal to ma. So in other words, the Newton value is equivalent to kilogram times meter per second squared. So I think what I'm going to do is take this and plug that in for the Newton over here first, okay? And then I'm going to plug in that result into here. So now... That's going to be a kilogram times meter per second squared. Okay, that's the Newton. Multiply this now by seconds, and then that whole thing divided now by meters squared. So notice here, this second will cancel with one of those. Okay, and also this meter will cancel with one of these. So what we are left with now is going to be kilogram, uh, yep, kilogram per uh, meter second. Okay, now this is what's going to get plugged in for the denominator. So it's going to be kilogram per meter times second. All right, so let's make some cancellations on the top. So we've got two meters here, three meters over here. So that's just one left. And uh, that's good for now. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this and then do a, uh, what was it, keep change flip or something like that. When you have, you know, when you're taking two kind of fractions and then dividing them, you can keep the top one, change the sign to a multiplication, and then flip the second one, right? So the Reynolds number here will be now, it's combining all this, this is gonna be kilogram per meter times second, times now the reciprocal of the denominator, which will be meter times second over kilogram, and oh my goodness, look at that, right? Boom, 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 unit less. There you go. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember, subscribe. See you next time.